Alright, welcome to another wonderful video with your favorite math teacher. Yeah, me. Um, no, not. Anyway, here we go. So, today we have our first video. Please remember that you will need your graphic organizer. I will show you what it looks like in just a second, but you can get it from your graphic organizer number one mailbox. Here we go. We're going to talk about powers and exponents. Just to let you know, as a student, you should be able to identify and determine the value of an exponent by the time we are done. Got it? Just want to let you know, there's a hint. I'm watching the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Kansas City Chiefs football game. You might want to know that at the end. Here we go. There's a graphic organizer. Make sure it looks like this. We're going to talk a lot about definitions, and then we're going to do some, and then you're going to practice some, and then we're going to move on. Here we go. All right. Okay. Vocabulary at the front. First graphic organizer. First one is factors. Listen, factors are just simply numbers that are multiplied together. Simply numbers that are multiplied together. For example, we have one right here. Numbers that are multiplied together, hmm, 2 times 2. Those are the factors. Those are factors of 4. So 2 times 2 are factors of 4. Plain and simple. We could do another one. We have 6. What are factors of 6? Well, 3 times 2 makes 6, so these are the factors. Both of these here. Okay, congratulations. Moving on. Okay, next one. Okay, we have the base. The base is the number being used as a factor. In this particular case, you will see that a base looks like this. This guy is the base. Okay, This one is the base. You will want to see that one for an example. Moving on. Here we go. We also have an exponent. An exponent tells how many times a number is used as a factor. Plain and simple, here we go. We have the same one. This is the exponent. Yes, this means we're going to use it three times. Okay, We're going to use that two, three times. We'll show you some in just a minute. Be very careful. For some reason, sixth graders stink at this. They always forget, so make sure you know how to do this. Here we go, a couple more. Okay, here we go. Power. A power is a number that is expressed using exponents. Look, we just told you what an exponent is. We said this 3 is an exponent. Yes, it is. Well, it's also called, it's also called a power. You could say 2 to the power of 3, okay? Or you can say 2 with an exponent of 3. Same thing. 2 to the power of 3. Congratulations. Okay, We have squared. Squared is a number that has an exponent of 2. For example, we might have 6 squared or we might have 5 squared. All those are are 6 squared. It's the same thing as saying 6 to the power of 2 or 5 to the power of 2. We just call them squared. Okay, Squared because you're multiplying two things together. When you do, you get a square. That's how it is in geometry. Moving on. Okay. We also have cubed. Cubed is a number that is an exponent of 3. So, for example, you might see us say 3 cubed, or 5 cubed, or 10 cubed. Those are all examples. Remember, anytime it says cubed, it's 3. Okay, How do I remember that? Well, listen up. We have a square, right? That is length times width. Okay, here we go, length times width. Now, if we have a cube, okay, if we have a cube, whoops, we have a cube, we do length times width times height. So that would be length times width times height, which means three together. That's why it's a cube, because length times width times height would give us a cube. Anyway, a lot of extra stuff. Don't worry about it. Just know that a squared is two, an exponent of two, and cubed is an exponent of three. All right, let's talk about exponents. Here we go. The next part of your graphic organizer asks you about this. Here we go, exponent form. This is the one at the bottom, two cubed. Okay, we're going to say this is 2 cubed. Now, okay, that 2 is what we call the base. Okay, that base is the 2. And the 3 is the exponent, and that's very important. Okay, we can say 2 cubed or 2 to the power of 3. All right, now, what does that mean? Well, here we go. Let's change that into factor form. Yes, let's change it to factor form. Here we go. Okay. 2 cubed in factor form is simple. It's just 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. Remember, our 2 is our factor, and the 3 tells us how many we have, okay, which happens to be 3 of them. So 2 times 2 times 2. All right, now we're also going to go ahead and do it in standard form. Standard form is simply the answer. That's all we need to do. So 2 cubed. Well, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which looks kind of like this. First thing we would do is take the first 2 times 2, which 2 times 2 gives us 4. And then we need to multiply that by 2, because there's a third one. So 4 times 2 is, well... It's 8. Okay? Do not think that it's 6 because it's not. It is 8. 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 
okay? 2 cubed equals 8, and that is your answer in standard form, okay? Let's look at it closely. This right here is exponent form, okay? So this is exponent form. This next section right here, this is what we call factor form. And the Pittsburgh Steelers just threw another touchdown. And Ben Roethlisberger to Antonio Brown for a 40-yard touchdown catch. Yeah, pretty much they're destroying Kansas City right now. And this right here down at the bottom is standard form, just to let you know. This is standard form, okay? This is what we really need to know. However, the other things will become important on some of your worksheets. So here we go. Okay, we have one more we're going to do. We're going to do three to the fourth power. We say this as three to the fourth power. Okay, now, oh, and we've got two to the fifth power. Let me go back. Three to the fourth power. Okay, and we also have going back four to the fourth power. So let's do that one. We're going to do it in all three forms. Here we go. Okay, four to the fourth power. That is already in exponent form. Congratulations, put that down in your notes. Next one, however, would be factor form. That's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Yes, that's a big one. Okay, now let's figure out what the answer is. What is that equal? Well, 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. Okay, 16 times 4 is 64. And 64 times 4, well, that equals 256. That's your answer, 256. You need to write that down in your notes. Congratulations. All right, here we go. Let's show you some more. All right, 3 to the 4th. Plain and simple, that means 3. Oh, let's go back. Sorry, going back. 3 to the 4th. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3, well, that gives us 81, and that would be our answer. Congratulations. So 3 to the 4th power is 81. Let's do another one. Okay, this is my last example. All right, 2 to the 5th. That's very simple. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, this number tells me I need to have 5 of this number, so I need to have 5 2. Let's go ahead and multiply them together. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 gives us 8, times 2 gives us 16, okay, times 2 gives us 32, so 2 to the 5th equals 32, that's the final answer, all right, here we go, okay, a little information for you, okay, exponent form of 4 cubed, 4 cubed is just 4 times 4 times 4, and in standard form that would equal 64, we have another one, 7 times 7, well, what would that be in exponent form, well, there's two 7s, so that would be 7 squared, or 7 to the second power. And in standard form, 7 times 7, well, that equals 49. Let's look at this one. We have m to the fifth, where m could be any number. So we can go ahead. What would it be in factor form? Well, m times m times m times m times m. Okay, and finally, okay, what would it be in standard form? Well, we can't really give you an answer because we don't know what m stands for. Got it? Let's move on. All right, at this time, I want you to pause the video. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it right now. Listen, you need to pause it. I'm telling you, your teacher tells you to pause it. You need to do these six problems as practice. Get a whiteboard, get a marker, try them right now. Okay? Try them right now. Pause the video. All right, if you're back and you're looking for the answer, let's double check it. Here we go. Three squared. What is three squared? Well, that's three times three, which equals nine. Let's check the next one. Four times four times four. Okay, four times four is 16 times four. That equals 64. Congratulations, that's your answer. 10 to the fourth. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100 times 10. That's, well, 1,000. And 1,000 times 10, well, that equals 10,000. So that would be your answer. 10,000. Yes, that's a 10, not an 8. It's a 10. 5 times 5. That's the next one. That equals 25. Hopefully you got that one right on your org, graphic organizer and your whiteboard. 2 times 2 times 2. It's 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2. Well, that equals 8. Congratulations. And finally, 2 to the 7th. That's 2 times 2. I got 4 so far. 5. 6 and 7. Let's go ahead and figure this one out. That's 4 times 2 is 8. 
Okay? Times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. Times 2 is 64. Times 2, well, that should be 128. That should be your answer. All right, these six were your final part of the video. Listen, if you are still listening to this video right now, if you are still listening to this video and you are in my second period math class, only my second period math class, if you can tell me silently without telling anyone else in this classroom, you can come back to me and see me. If you can tell me what the score of the Pittsburgh and Kansas City game is right now, at this moment, just about at the end of the first quarter, if you can tell it to me, you'll get a reward. So here's the score. 22 to nothing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of your video with your horrible, horrible teacher. Sorry it took me so long. I want you to know now is the time where you do worksheet number one. Have a wonderful afternoon.